Yo, man, welcome back to the channel. Look, I'm in a little bit of a rush today, so we're just going to get straight to it. Five signs. Why she ain't throwing it back? Before we get into it, man, make sure you like, sub, all that, you know. Uh, but uh, this has kind of been a trend on the channel recently. What, what, what am I going to eat? All right. We got a chicken cutlet hero, bro. Just chicken, lettuce, and mayo on bread. It's one of the greatest things ever invented, man. I will not lie to you, but uh, let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And today I want to talk about five signs that she is not really interested. Talk to in me. You. Number one, has this ever happened to you? You're talking to a girl, everything seems great. She's always responding to your messages. Then when you go to set up the date, she just kind of gives you wishy-washy answers. She's just really busy all the time. Maybe an example is you text her and you're like, hey, I'd love to hang out. Are you free, you know, Tuesday or Thursday? And she gets back to you and says, oh, you know, I'd love to see you, but I, my schedule is just so busy this week. She's just a busy, she's just a hardworking girl. That's it. What she's doing is she's still responding to your text messages, still giving you that dopamine rush, still making you feel like, oh, well, she's definitely interested in me because she's texting me back. But what's happening is she She's using the busy schedule for a reason that she doesn't really want to hang out with you. Instead of saying, you know, I have a really busy schedule this week, but I'm free next week on Tuesday. Making Loki should kind of spit in though, because if they want to, they will. But like, who cares, bro? I'm still gonna like keep asking, bro. You know. <laughs> that you know jump to help set the date. Instead, she just uses. The nah, bro. Here's the actual life lesson. <clears throat> you ask the first time, this happens, don't ask again. Don't do it. If she wants to, she'll ask you after that. If not, then all right, whatever. Get some fucking pics, you know? But, like, after that, who cares, bro? You tried the first time, didn't get it, told her, bend that shit. The busy schedule does not give you any times when she's free, but then she continues to text you. These are all signs that she's not super interested in you. Maybe she likes the conversation. Maybe she likes that you guys are friends or that she's just getting exactly. the validation of you texting her all the time. But you need to realize it comes to a point where if the girl is not interested in you, she's not going to like set up the date with you. She's not going to ever tell you when she's free and you need to cut your losses mm. and move on. Because if not, you're just going to be this simp that is just texting this girl who's not... Not a simp if I get titty pics. Interested. Number two, maybe you get the girl out on a date or maybe you're texting and she says something like, you're just so nice or you just seem like such a nice guy. What she's doing is she is putting you in a category of the friend zone. She is basically saying, I am not interested in you, but she's saying it in a nice way. In my beast dating coaching program, we actually had a guy. This is a coach giving out this advice? Nah. Who bought this program? Who bought this program? I can give it to you for free. Just hit the subscribe button. That was on a date with a girl. And she said this. She said, hey, you know, you just seem like such a nice guy. And then what ended up happening is she never went on a Diet. date again. So if you hear Dr. this, this is P, like a baby. huge red flag. Mm. It's basically a girl saying, I'm not interested in you. Yes, girls suck. They should just be honest. They should tell the truth. But instead, they play these manipulative games. Like, oh, you're so nice. It stinks and I get it. But you have to also see the signs. When someone's calling you nice, she's basically uh. saying to you, this is a friendship I'm seeing develop. This is not something sexual. I don't feel polarized by you. I don't feel like I want to move this forward in a romantic way. Now, when you hear this, again, it's one Ladies and gentlemen, when this happens, you have to get leg extensions. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. It's a real surgery. It's because you're short, bro. That's those it. Things really. like losses move on. But there's also some reflection that should be done. If you're getting this a lot from girls, it's probably because you're giving off nice guy energy and putting yourself in the friend zone. There's probably nothing about you that- I'm a bad guy. It's like a masculine man that sets boundaries, that takes the lead. You're giving a, probably off this nervous, weak energy and being way too nice and over the top that, that that's what the girl is seeing. So just a reminder, if this is something that's happening to you, there's three things that you really want to do so you do not fall into the friend zone that you do not. This is a fantastic camera, bro. 
This is fantastic. Be called the nice guy. Number one is you set up the date. You are the one that takes the initiative. You don't wait and be like, how does this sound? Is this okay with you? No, like you're like, hey, are you free Tuesday and Thursday? I know there's a really cool bar called Barcelona. They have amazing margaritas. If you want to meet there at 8 p.m. That is you taking the- Does Yamin Lamal work at that bar? <laughs> Number two is that you set, once you set up the date, you show up and you immediately go in for the hug. You break that touch barrier, you're holding that strong eye contact, and you're letting her know that you're kind of leading this interaction. Now, after the hug, you're leading her into the bar. You are not. After the hug, you're leading her into the bedroom. Sorry. <laughs> doing dinner. You are not sitting across from each other and falling into the friend zone and having these like really basic platonic conversations. No, what you're going to do is you're going to sit next to her. That way you can break the touch barrier. You can go in and lean in, touch her leg, pull back, building that sexual tension. And a lot- Look, I ain't touching nobody's leg on the first interaction. Not happening. I don't know what she thinks is gonna happen. Just saying, don't listen to her. Guys, do it. you want to be behind bars? Listen to her. Don't listen to her. A lot of guys struggle with don't this on it. the date, that they do not build that sexual tension. And then what happens? You, you're you nervous, you give off this weak energy, that nice guy conversation starts to come out, and you're automatically falling into the friend zone. And number... Dude, I don't, I, I don't know, bro. Uh, shit. Maybe she's right, bro, but... I ain't taking that chance. I got my whole life ahead of me. No, thank you. Three is I don't no, care. You. you need to grow balls. You need to go in for the kick. Absolutely not. <laughs> I can't tell you how many guys make excuses why they should not do this, but this shows that. No, bro. Why are you doing this on the first date? Guys, come on. Be real. Be real. You kiss on the girl on the first date. You know how many dudes kissed that girl on the first date? Come on, bro. Be different, bro. Don't do that. That's gross, actually. You just met the girl, bro. Don't do that. That you are interested in her. That you want to make things more sexy. But! You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to like bring her home and have sex with her that night. No, but you want to. that. That's what I was getting to. Like if that happens, though, ah, ah, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if it doesn't, then it'll be different, bro. <laughs> to make sure that you build upon that sexual tension and that that spark is there. And if you don't do this and you don't end with a kiss or even try to end with a kiss, she could just be like, yeah, I don't know if I'm super interested in him. He didn't really go for a kiss. I don't know where we stand. But if you go for that kiss, at least she knows that you're interested in her. Number three, you have plans to go on a date and last minute she changes the plan, number one, or number two, she decides to bring her friend along for the date. This is A, just a real lack of disrespect. What? She bringing her friend with her? Uh coming up <laughs> bro that is insane bro just don't even go don't even go at that point <laughs> towards you she shows that she's not super interested in she that is crazy the plans last she just wants dinner you know you yeah, had that plans to go to that barcelona bar at 8 p.m and then she texts you the day of and says hey my friends are actually going to this other bar i think we should go there instead so in this moment it's really easy to just want to comply and do what the girl says because you're afraid like if you don't you might not be able to go on this date but that's just weak simpy behavior and then show that she can do whatever and you'll just comply. So what you want to do instead is text her and say, hey, nope, let's just stick to the plan. Barcelona at 8 p.m. still work for you. Because that's, you know. Hmm. Look, now she's saying all this. But best believe if some dude ever said that to her, she's flipping out. She getting mad. She gonna cancel, bro. She ain't even gonna listen to her own advice, bro. Come on. Come on, man. A way of showing your dominance, showing that you're masculine and that you're holding the frame and that she can't just change it. And she might even give you a little bit more pushback and be like, well, I really want to see my friends. Like, if, you know, and that's where you have to kind of set this hard boundary and be like, look, I'm trying to get to know you. I want to go on a date with you. I want to mm. go on a date with your friends. And this is the same thing. She's kind of spitting though. 
hopefully. <laughs> Last minute, she tries to have her friend come on the date. A lot of guys in my beast dating coaching program have had this happen, where last minute the girl is like, "Hey, my friend's in town. Like, is it okay if she comes on the date?" Absolutely not. And I have had guys that have said yes, and then it's like this really awkward dynamic between he's trying to get to know this girl, but then there's this like cock block of another girl here, and it's a really weird, uncomfortable vibe. And it ends nowhere, right? It's like a waste of time, a waste of date. So what you want to do is again say the same. Oh, I thought I crashed. Thing, hey, no, I really want to get to know you. Um, you know, you can meet up with your friends later. And that's setting a really hard boundary. And what I do find is that girls actually that are on the fence of being like, are they interested in you? Are they not interested in you? If you set these hard boundaries and you know what you want and you, what you stand for, it kind of makes a girl more attracted to you because she's not used to being put in her place. She's not. That's a bunch of bullshit, by the way. That don't work. It don't. This is what they think they want. But it's not. It's not. It's kind of like winning the lotto. It's either like you get it or you don't. Honestly, that's all you can say. If you're buying a dating program, first of all, you get no hoes. Second of all, you're wasting your money. And I don't know the third reason, but come on, man. Just like the best advice I think I could give is don't focus on it. Don't think about it. Uh, don't even be tripping about it for real, bro. Why did my voice get deeper, bro? Damn. No, but actually, if you're so focused on it, then it's like all you can think about or whatever, blah, blah, blah. This shit is not going to work. Dude, this fucking Dr. Pepper is coming up. Holy mother... So, uh, just go with the flow. Enjoy your life, bro. Who cares? You're young. And if you're not young, well, maybe you should, like, watch Dr. Phil and not my videos. But, I'm assuming everyone's young watch, uh, watching this. Who cares, bro? Have fun. Have fucking fun. Mother trucker. Used to being told no or that she can't do this because she's used to going on dates with guys that are like, God damn sorry yeah sure i guess it's okay Shit. i guess your friend can come along so this is a really good way to practice holding that masculine frame and it also low-key will make her a little more attractive to you so if you're struggling with your dating life if you can't seem to get girls on a date or maybe you're getting girls on the date and they're not ending the way you want them to or maybe you're just wanting a girlfriend and that hasn't happened listen up because this is the last time i'm going to talk about this no she got a good thing going on here bro there's so many, like, people that, are, like, would watch this and be like, she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> like, you know, like, this. So, as you guys have heard me talk about my premium beast dating coaching program where I... Look, she keeps mentioning it. Bro, come on. 118,000. Wow, that's a horrible ratio. When they say you're so sweet, pack your bags, buddy. <laughs> I've helped over thousands of guys completely <laughs> transform their dating life. Well, this is a business that I've been running with David from How to Beast, and we've strategically decided to shift focus on his other businesses because this business takes so I much. I don't care about your promo. Oh, I can't. Uh, I have a girlfriend now, but all months once a week with me and the opportunity. It makes sense if you're interested. I'll get back to you. girl is is going on dates with you, but it's not sexual, right? Like you're not kissing, you've never like done anything, but she always is down to hang out. But when she's down to hang out, she's always suggesting expensive things to do. Maybe it's a really expensive Let's restaurant. Taco Bell. Or maybe she wants to go to this bowling alley <laughs> or mini golf or whatever. It's all these activities, but she knows that you're going to pay for them. Again, unfortunately, girls can suck and they can take advantage and if you are not seeing the relationship or it going from a platonic state to more of a 
sexual thing. She's just using you for these fun activities. Maybe she really does like enjoying spending time with you, but she doesn't see you as a viable option of somebody that she could potentially have a relationship with. And I think this is the hardest one because I see guys going through this and they're like, yeah, but we're going on lots of dates. She thinks I'm funny. She's laughing. She's always responding to my texts. All right, man. Look, this video is a whole bunch of bullshit, by the way. Um, Number five. I think this is the most common one I hear from guys is when they're texting a girl and they go to set up the date and she says, I just want to get to know you better on here first. This I feel like is a dagger to the heart, right? Not really. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. That is completely normal. <laughs> what is she talking about, bro? <laughs> because you're like, I'm doing everything right. You're on this dating app or, you know, I got your number from the gym and then all of a sudden you just want to get to know me better. So the biggest thing here is- Brother. You could be creepy, man. Like if this is like your cu first couple of days talking, bro, and that happens, normal. That's complete, first couple of weeks. Normal, bro. It's been a week, bro. Like, relax. I, I, I don't know, like bro. Setting a boundary and saying something like, that's what the date is for, silly, or we'll do that on the date. Making it known, like, you're not going to sit here and be this girl's pen pal. But a lot of times, guys make this mistake and say, sure, like, I can hop on a FaceTime, I can hop on a phone call. Or, the FaceTime is horrible. Don't do that, gentlemen. Or, no, I'll just keep... Actually, maybe you should. I've been catfished way too many times. Texting you, and what happens? Months go by, they're wasting all this time and energy. Maybe they're even developing feelings for this girl, and they're texting, 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 but you never ask her back out again. And you fall into this friend zone, you fall into this pen pal mode, and she loves it because she's getting all this validation, and maybe secretly you like it because you're getting that validation, but it's never gonna amount to anything. She's probably going on dates with all these other guys, but you're just <laughs> the guy she gets to talk to about her feeling how her day is because she knows you're gonna listen <laughs> well don't be that guy <laughs> yo man that's the video bro all right i gotta go record a gaming video and all that don't listen to her listen to me something to me it's free don't buy her shit all right <laughs> i'll catch you bro